Hey guys, we're at hunting camp. We're making some canned venison. Uh, right now, we, we made a video on how to make that. That's gonna be in the link below. It's getting viewed like 5,000 times a day, which uh, is exciting and scary. Thanks for watching. Uh, but there's been a bunch of questions. One, uh, one was, I wanna see you cook it. How do you uh, prepare this afterwards? And there's a couple safety things I wanted to run over. One thing I did not do in that video is uh, take a bit of vinegar on a cloth and clean the lid, the top of the glass beforehand. Uh, again, this is how we've done it for a long time, but it seems like that is an additional safety method. Uh, what we're talking, what I talked about there is this was water bath, not canned at in a pressure canner. Pressure canners reach 240 uh, miles a gallon. Miles a gallon. <laughs> 240. Uh, Fahrenheit and that kills basically everything including botulism spores which are the scary thing it's a scary enough that it can kill you and it can survive at lower temps so the water bath method is more risky it's even more risky if you live at higher elevations. At really high elevations, water boils at only about a hundred and uh, about a hundred and three degrees instead of a, or, I'm sorry, two hundred and three degrees instead of two hundred and twelve degrees. So, uh, at higher elevations, water bathing is even more dangerous because you're not killing as many bugs because uh, you're boiling at lower temps. But at lower elevations with clean systems, it can work. I'm certainly not guaranteeing that it will work. However, we are willing to take the risk, and uh, a lot of people have. So this has been, this was a deer that was killed last fall, and the lid is, oh, it's real tight. Which is good. We're gonna get that popping sound here shortly. That's a good thing. If we can get it off, up, there's the down. goodness. Then we look on top, what's on top is, this is tallow, this is deer fat that has been just, uh, rendered completely out of the meat and this little bit sometimes if the, th if the meat wasn't cleaned up real well there'll be quite a bit more but you can pull that aside or you can cook it up for that matter it's not a big deal and I can see that I did put Montreal steak seasoning on this which makes it exciting and all this juicy goodness is probably where all the nutrients are at so I've already caramelized some onions and butter with a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning. The sizzling you hear on the side here is the potatoes, of course. Uh, and all we're gonna do is get all that meat and all the juices in here. Now, the FDA says that if you do this, if you, if you water bath, you will die. And they might be right. Or your chances of dying are slightly higher than pressure canning your meat. But the FDA also says that if you boil your meat for 10 minutes or fry it at a high temperature for three minutes, you're likely to kill a lot of the creatures that may have survived. Again, not a guarantee, but it seems to have worked for us and it really is quite yummy. I certainly cook it with the juices because a lot of the juices, a lot of the nutrients in that meat have been worked and reworked and are in that juice. So we need that to get the, uh, the actual nutrients out of the food back. Another thing that someone mentioned is that at 240 degrees, not only do you kill botulism, but you probably actually break down and kill some of the other things, nutrients that your body does need. I don't know if that's true. There's a lot of comments over in that video. There's a whole wealth of knowledge to learn there. Please put comments in this video too. But we're gonna cook this thing up and I'll show you the final product. Oh boy. Really nice old stove. Oh, camp life. Hi. <laughs> Gonna little, add a little broccoli to this goodness. That thing's already been simmering, or base, almost boiling now. I bet you it's been doing that for four or five minutes. And we're gonna kind of simmer it and work it down. Oh shoot, probably another 10 minutes. Cause we gotta get these taters. Oh, real good too. All right, here it is all cooked up. We got a little broccoli and some caramelized onions in there too. What do you guys think? Mm. No wonder there was a crunch.
Crunch. I hate onions. Mm -hmm. The rest of uh, the rest of <laughs> So, uh, I don't want to kill you guys. I'm not saying this is the thing to do. If you have a pressure cooker, use a pressure cooker. But the risk, the risk that the that the officials have to state might lean us to say, if you don't do it with a pressure cooker, you will die instantly. And I can at least say that uh, everyone's still alive right now, and we have been for about three generations. Uh, there's definitely some factors, you know, cooking it afterwards. I wouldn't eat it raw out of the can. Mm. Um, mm -mm. But it is absolutely, it is really delicious. It really processes mm. the food well. Um, and it makes her great meals. On our uh, channel, there are a lot of videos about how to get food, how to prepare food, and particularly how to store food. We go nuts with all sorts of things, uh, freezer related, uh, cooking related, and, and kind of living off the land in a sustainable and not too wacky and extreme way. But this is what we eat, right? Most of what we eat, we we cook, we catch, we kill, we garden, uh, and it we seems sleep. Like we sleep sometimes. Please like and subscribe. Check out our other videos, and thanks for watching.